Honey, honey, I love you. I kiss you. You're my life. <laughs> Honey, honey, I love you, I kiss you, you're my life, Trinivas. <laughs> what is sweeter than the honey? Trinivas. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. What is sweeter than your honey? Money. <laughs> You better don't say neighbor's honey. <laughs> we all had honey in our life, and some of us still do that. But I remember the time where I was young, about five years old, and that's when I met the honey. Do you remember the time when you were young? The first love? You were cute, pretty, I was chubby. <laughs> Still cute. <laughs> and I met my first honey bee. I was sitting there doing my nothing work because I was five years old. And I remember as I was sitting busy like a bee playing around, a bee zzz came around. First time I ignored. It came again. Zzz. Second time I ignored. Third time I warned. Then I realized bees don't speak Hindi. <laughs> I took a stick and I started chasing the bee as if I'm the ninja warrior. And I chased and I fought and I killed and I tried everything. But the bee was better. I couldn't even touch the wings. And finally, there was only two choices fight or flight. <laughs> it was flight <laughs> by the bee because I can't fly. And the bee flew all the way to the terrace. <laughs> I was not planning to give up. As a five-year-old, we don't believe in giving up. We don't quit. We don't believe in impossible. We just go for it. And I went with my wooden sword, running after. I went up the terrace, climbed up, and I was looking for the bee. Then I realized, no good. And I looked around. I found a bigger one. I found a nice wooden leg piece of an old bed. <laughs> it was big. It's nice just to hold like a baseball bat. And I was holding it. And I was focused on the bee as it flew up, down, left, right, all these things. And I started chasing the bees around. I went everywhere. Finally, the bee got scared. It went back to its palace, beehive. I wasn't giving up. I went all the way. And I remember standing with my sword, like a Jedi, right in front of a beehive. And I will know that's the right bee. They all look the same. <laughs> <laughs> with my power, passion, and energy, I took a step back, and with the bat, I whacked the bee hive. <laughs> they all flew in the air. I was feeling victorious. <laughs> I didn't know. They had a different game plan. And that's where I learned the first lesson of my life. Bees have very good teamwork. <laughs> they are the colony of people, or I would say, of creatures. There, they have very good collaboration, communication, and they have very good teamwork. They all decided to attack me. <laughs> and I ran before I could reach anywhere. Next moment, I was in my mother's lap. Opening my eyes, it could hardly open my eyes because my entire face was stung by the bees. And my mom was picking them out one by one. I didn't know the creatures who make honey are bitter. It was a bittersweet experience. <laughs> and that's where, that was my first kiss of my life, by the honey bees. Moving on. I decided, what can I do? I have a choice. I said, I will move on, and I'll not be afraid of it anyway. And we decided, we moved on to a different neighborhood. <laughs> and as we went to a different neighborhood, life was good. And one day, my friend said, hey, bro, come. There is some guy something doing outside. I said, OK, let's go, let's go. What is he doing? He's trying to catch bees. I said, are you kidding me? He said, yes. He's trying to get the honey. 
I was scared, I was nervous, I had a very bad experience going back to Membu Lane. I was like, no, no, no. But, but in front of friends, you gotta be brave, right? Yeah. You're like, no worries, bro, let's go. <laughs> Internally, you might be scared, but externally, you are brave. <laughs> and then I walked in with them, and I saw this man had a crazy, strange strategy. He was making fire. And as the smoke went up, all the bees started flying around. As they were flying all over, I remember what happened when I was five years old. Flashback time. That's when the man said, don't worry, smoke makes them dizzy. Just hit them and they will fall. Man, now is my turn. <laughs> it's my revenge and revenge is sweet. <laughs> I took my slipper off and I started whacking them one by one. He said, gentle, we don't kill the bees. <laughs> oh. And then I, did, and I saw bees all over the floor, but I didn't feel victorious. Then I realized revenge may feel sweet, but it's not sweet. And I walked away, but before that the man said, try the honey from the honeycomb. Have you ever tried the fresh honeycomb? It is amazing. It is the best thing in the world. And bees and the honeys may be two different things, but trust me, the honey which is made is 100% perfect every time a bee makes honey. Now growing up, I saw a man on the TV who was willing to get all the bees all over his body. And I was like, how did he do that? And I found something more interesting. Bees can recognize human faces. Now I know why they bit me, not my family. <laughs> bees have very great architecture of the honeycomb. They are known as one of the best ways of making honeycomb. They are great in teamwork. And the best part, they are excellent in communication and leadership. <laughs> They appoint, elect the queen, and the queen lays 2,500 eggs a day. Better than any VPM in the country. <laughs> they are very good. They have mentoring system. The older bees teach the younger bees how to go and get the pollen. They are so good in that. But I learned when I read more about bees, how they are in their leadership. They are delegate. And I realized that honey <coughs> is sweet. But the way B works, do you know Albert Einstein said, if the bees were to die today, four years later human beings will exist. 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 Incredible, right? So trust me, when you see next time a honey and a honeybee say, I love you. Because without bee, you have no life. Because they give you every fruit you eat. Back to you.